Hello everybody, Landa here, and today I will be making the fourth part in my Towers Only series. This time I will be using submarines. Now, the reason I picked submarines is A, because it's definitely viable to have a submarines only challenge, but also because I already have buccaneers, and submarines, uh, especially in BTD5, were one of my favorite towers. So, I've decided that I will be using them in this challenge right here and trying to beat Spice Islands with only boomerangs. Now, if you recall, in the Buccaneers Only episode, I did mention Spice Islands, but yeah, so here it is. I will be playing it in, just in the Submarine Only Challenge instead of the Buccaneer Only Challenge. So, I mean, let's just get on with this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a submarine there to get myself started off with. Alright, might lose some lives because it's the infamous round four, but it's no big deal. And my plan is to. Well, first, let's see. This guy right here is going to be my initial boost of power, but then hopefully I can be build up armies afterwards and all that fun stuff with submarines. Or at least all that you can do within 80 rounds. You can do a lot after 80, but just for these 80 rounds I will be using only submarines. Alright, so I've been grinding out cash for a few rounds and buying more submarines as you can see and I will actually purchase the submerge and support upgrade that way I can detect camo balloons that come in this radius and that allows my other towers to shoot at the little camo balloons otherwise there isn't really a way for them to see camos so this is really the optimal way to do it and uh, I'm also planning on getting this with that same ability but for right now one should be good enough. As for these towers, um, let's see, I'll get longer range on both of them. And actually, get a submarine for that place right there to expand the range total influence of all my submarines and uh, yes hopefully I can get the ballistic missile soon all right uh, I have some more money to spend and I will spend that right on a ballistic missile that way that will first off help with the leads but also help with destroying Moabs when they come around and then I have 400 and 27 left over. I'm gonna actually upgrade the range of this guy. Try to get him to advanced intel. And that would be good. And also, uh, sorry about uh, my voice. I'm a little sick at the moment, so if it sounds weird, that's why. Um, <clears throat> but I was given a little trouble, not too much. Nothing went towards the end, but there was. There were balloons getting over here, so I see that as an opportunity to really start upgrading these more, getting more firepower, and I think I'll actually get twin guns on both of these down here. Yes, so there's some getting close, but they're all still being caught by the submerged submarine, which is a good thing. Get more twin guns. Now the airburst starts on both of these. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to set this guy to strong. Yep, we got some that leaked. 
round 35. So definitely need for upgrading, which I can do. Two air burst darts right off the bat. That alone should do some damage. And this right here, I want to get another ballistic missile to help with all the with the Moab that comes at round 40. And hopefully all my defense I have here will be adequate. I can uh, get more though just to increase the range pretty much. That way they'll be able to see fairly decently. Which would be a good thing, especially with all the crap that the Moab will dump. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, two first strikes, or not two first strikes, but two missiles, and then... Uh, I could get a triple gun, might as well. Alright, let's see if this works out. Set the strong, destroy the Moab. Pretty easy. Good stuff. Alright. So now I can just continue to build up my submarines. Uh, get them stronger while I try to take on the harder rounds. So yeah. Round 50 is right around the corner, and I have gotten two nuclear reactors, which are or should I say plutonium reactors that are uh, helping do damage and of course delete camo off of balloons that good stuff and I also have turned all three of these into well I think this one already was but I've turned these two into missile launchers so now I can spend some money on ammo <coughs> armor piercing darts and I'll just get one for now, but I want to get one for this too and take on round 50. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we basically deleted that Moab, so I have a good feeling about this. Yep, just like that. It's been taken down, and I will get more armor piercing darts, and that'll lead to me. Just expanding on my army with submarines. Because round 63 is the next big thing. And it's still a decent amount away, but it's good to always prepare for that. That thing that exists. That round 63. Infamous, of course. I have greatly upped my defense, and I'd say I'm pretty prepared for the BFB at round 60 but just in case I will actually right here by the exit of the uh, level get well yes I was going to get a ballistic missile but apparently that won't be the case but that's what that guy will be eventually so uh, let me just take this easy I mean there, there pose, poses no challenge which uh, makes me feel good about 63 and with this defense, it's already looking great. Uh, of course, can get more armor piercing, which will help. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep upgrading these. Here it is, round 63 coming up. Will I be able to do it? Let's see. First wave handled. Got, got there, but. You know, it was taken care of. Second wave, well, going around a little bit more. Third wave shouldn't be much more. Yeah, that was easy. I mean, it, it got there, but it was really not a big deal. And I can get more armor piercing darts. That'll be helpful. And now I can. I'm really thinking about saving up for this right here to get first strike capability. I'll press play and while I'm getting the cash to do that, 
I do want to mention uh, some aspects of my channel in the future. I will not make a video or upload a video next week because I will be out of town. However, when I come back, uh, which should be two weeks from now, I plan on really diversifying what I'm doing, not just playing Bloons Tower Defense 6. I have uh, plans on getting a capture card for my Nintendo Switch so I can play Switch games like Splatoon 3, Mario Kart, whatever it may be, playing games like that, uh, and also doing reviews, and that will be fun in of itself, add the reviews to my channel's name, so yeah, looking forward to that, it should be fun. Here it is, Eat Fresh over here can f become a first strike capability, and that adds this cooldown ability right here, which if you're unfamiliar with the game, can obliterate multiple class balloons, which will be very helpful, especially for the ZOMG coming in round 80. Uh, but now that I've bought that, I feel like all I really need to do is just continue upgrading these guys right down here to armor piercing darts, which really helps with popping, uh, you know, ceramics and of course Moabs. I mean, these and these combined, which already do extra damage to those, it's just a killer combo for popping. And again, with the Plutonium reactors, there's no real need for. I mean, that covers camo detection right there. It really is a great system, and uh, I'd say if you don't use submarines, uh, you're missing out because they're they're really good. Especially like this is just them alone, which works great enough. But when compared, when paired up with other towers, they work great, especially on water levels. Again, like Buccaneers, that's their main weakness is the. Uh, dependency on water, but if you've got a water level like this, or even just a level with a little bit of water, they can really add some defense. Not much has changed with my defense, I just uh, added this guy right here. And honestly, I think this is at a point where I don't really need to add any more towers. I think this is adequate enough. I mean, we've got two Bluntonium reactors, five missile launchers, including one that is a first strike, and then seven uh, armor-piercing darts, bottom row monkey subs. It's it's good stuff, and should, without a doubt, take care of this guy. Yes. So that was, again, a very easy victory for the Towers Only series, showing that some towers can just take this all on by themselves. Well, there you have it, submarines only in BTD6. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I sure did uh, enjoy making this and just testing out the uh, capabilities of the monkey submarine. And it really just shows how great the water towers in this game are. Yes, they can only be placed in water, but if you've got a lot of water, you're practically unstoppable. And that's what I, I love about it. And, uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and until next time, see ya.